day, it's Jai here from beyondwiz.com.au and today we're going to take you through the initial pairing of your um, new BeyondWiz T-Series PVR along with the uh, the Apple iOS um, BeyondWiz Wiz OS application. Now for today's demonstration we're using the uh, iPad mini so the, this, the way it's displayed might change a bit uh, depending on whether you're using an iPhone or, or the, the normal iPad. So basically what you need for this, this app to work is you need a BeyondWiz T-Series PVR, so either a uh, T2, a T3 or a T4 and it must be connected to your local, um, your local network and your iPad must also be connected to, um, to that same network. Okay, so I've already downloaded the, uh, the BeyondWiz WizOS application from the App Store, so now I'm just going to click on it and it'll bring up the, uh, the initial setup wizard. So you've got two options here. You've got an automatic, which is obviously recommended or suggested, and you've got the custom. Custom you'll only use if you, if you can't get it set up automatically or if you're on a, uh, if you're using a static IP or something similar than that. So let's just go through the automatic today and we'll worry about a, a more detailed video later on. So simply click on the automatic setting and it's going to locate any BeyondWiz T-Series uh, PVRs that are on your local network. So as you see on the network here I have two, I've got a BeyondWiz T2 and I've got a BeyondWiz T4. So let's click on say the T4 to do first. Um, this next screen you can basically pretty much um, skip the initial setup. You can go back and set these things later. So DIN DNS will allow you to access your BeyondWiz T-Series PVR uh, remotely um, or you, if you've got a static IP you won't need a, a DIN DNS address but again we'll go through that in a more detailed video later on. So if we just click next and leave that blank. Now basically you should be able to just leave everything as is. Every All the settings that are, that are set in this um, here is basically catered towards whatever model it is. We've, we've picked all the regular settings that you'll use so you can see here that this is a t4 so the transcoder um, is is embedded in the the t4 so that's all enabled um, and it's also picked up your local Wi-Fi network so if you just click save it's going to automatically save that and that's pretty much done so you'll see here that you've got all your channels um, that, have, that, have, that are on your box uh, below and your TV guide will be full as well so to go back, I'm going to do another video again on all the features of the Wiz OS app, but if you want to add, uh, say, that second box we saw before, if you click on settings, and if you look up in the top corner up on the, uh, on the video here, this little cross symbol, so if you want to hit that cross button to add a new, new unit, and again, just go through the same settings here. So this time we're going to select the T2, next, save, and then the T2 is on board. So now you can see the little tick beside the T4 means that T4 is selected. That's the box we're actually using. If you wanted to change and, and view your T2, if you hit that choose STB below there, and then you can select the T2 there and the little tick comes up. So now when you come back here, this is actually coming from your T2 right now. Okay, um, so let's just go back into settings for a quick minute. So one thing you might want to change is that you can actually rename these instead of having BeyondWiz T2 or T4. And say you had, say, two BeyondWiz T4s in your house, they would both be coming up with the same name. So to name them, you simply click on the one to access the settings. And here in, where it says BeyondWiz T2, um, you know, you might want to change that to, say, bedroom, I guess, if it's in your bedroom. And then simply just press... Uh, just go back and that'll automatically save it I think. Yep, so there you go. So it's all done. So that'll get you up and running and all set up. So yeah, as I said before, please refer to our other videos which will go through just the basic features of, of using your WizOS application um, on, your, on your tablet or, or mobile.